There is a meeting of ECOWAS, for example, to deliberate on the coup in Niger. Our position is that President Bazoum should be reinstated as the democratically elected president of Niger. And whatever interventions ECOWAS will agree on will have the support of those of us in the African Union. Kenyan President William Ruto on Friday condemned the coup in Niger, calling the army takeover of the unstable jihadist hit nation a serious setback for Africa. On Wednesday, Africa suffered a serious setback in its democratic gains as the aspirations of the people of Niger for constitutional democracy were subverted by an unconstitutional change of government that deposed Mohamed Bazoum, a democratically elected president, Ruto said in a video message. Speaking in Mombasa, Kenya, President William Ruto called on the Niger military guards to release the detained leader Mohamed Bazoum. Bazoum has been confined to his residence since Wednesday by his own presidential guard. The chief of the presidential guard, General Abdurrahman Tiani, has been named president of the National Council for the safeguard of the homeland. Kenya's President William Ruto has been steadfast in calling for unity among African nations in what has been described by analysts as a way to be seen as pro-pan-Africanism. Several world leaders, including the French President Emmanuel Macron, have condemned the recent coup and further warned of the security risks from the mainly jihadist groups that have been a menace in the region. President William Ruto has warned Niger's junta against further detaining President Mohamed Bazoum and taking over the government, saying the country risks expulsion from the African Union. As the Africa Union, we are against the undemocratic removal of any government. Coups are not a solution to the challenges we have as a continent. We are taking a very firm position and advise that any undemocratic removal of any government immediately earns the expulsion from the African Union, said Ruto. According to the Kenyan head of state, AU will support any decision made by ECOWAS to ensure that President Bazoum is reinstated. Our position is that President Bazoum should be reinstated as the democratically elected president of Niger. We need to put a stop to the slide to undemocratic governments in our continent. His sentiments come weeks after a military junta in Niger, led by Army General Abdurrahman Chiani, took over power holding their democratically elected president hostage. Niger's coup is the latest of a scourge in West Africa. Mali, Guinea, and Burkina Faso have had elected presidents overthrown in separate incidents over the past two years. They are suspended by the African Union, as is tradition. Sudan too has collapsed into recent war after an overthrow of a transitional civilian government in October 2021, which was followed by a split in security forces this year on the future of the transition. The Kenyan leader says Niger's incident adds to Africa's setback in its democratic gains as the aspirations for her people's democracy was subverted by constitutional change of government. According to Ruto, the fundamental norm is crystallized in Article 4, P of the Constitutive Act of the African Union, AU, which unequivocally condemns and rejects any unconstitutional change of government. We call for the swift restoration of the constitutional rule and ensuring the protection of the population and a return to full civilian authority while upholding utmost respect for the country's institutions. The Kenyan leader emphasized the importance of upholding constitutional norms, protecting populations, and returning to full civilian authority while respecting institutions. He reiterated that the core values of democracy and constitutional rule were vital for Africa's progress and urged for a swift restoration of these principles in Niger. President Ruto's strong statements aimed to raise awareness about the negative consequences of unconstitutional changes in government, particularly through military coups. By standing firmly against such actions and advocating for democratic values, he aimed to contribute to the efforts of maintaining stability, good governance, and democratic progress across the African continent.